Welcome to Eagle News. Hi, I'm Mariah. And I'm Deborah. Today is December 10th. We are a week away from winter break. But we still have to work to do this week. Let's stay focused and work hard. Let's check in with the let's check in with Livy on the seven habits update. Thanks guys. This month we are beginning with the end of mine. That means having a plan before you start. Sometimes you can borrow a plan that other people have used before, like a reading goal. But sometimes that means coming up with your own idea, like these kid inventors. Hi, I'm Ellen and this is Dan. Hi, I'm Dan. Hi. Which one are you? Reagan. Hi, Reagan. How are you doing? Good. Let's. Uh, what do you? What do you? What did you invent? Sun muff. Hmm. Sun muff. Sun muffs. Sun muffs. Sun muffs. Sun muffs. And, mm -hmm. and the the reason is. Um. So here's how I came up with some of. Mm -hmm. When I was like four years old, mm -hmm. I had my mittens and my glasses, and I slid them on, and and then they keep their your ears warm. Oh, oh. That's so smart! That's really great. Yeah. I know my kids are always losing their glasses and losing their muffs. That's a great way to keep them together, right? That's really great. I'm gonna try oh, some goodness. on right now. I can I wear mine over my glasses? So it's good for winter time because you still. <laughs> Oh, these are cute. These are really good. Really nice. Huh? I like these a whole lot. So, so, and and have you started selling these yet? Yeah. How many? How, how much? I'm on Shark Tank now. How much have you sold? Um, a lot of them. A oh, lot. All right. I, I would like to invest a lot. That's wonderful. You have a patent? Yes. You have a patent? Oh wow. I was kind of kidding. Um, <laughs> There's a patent. So you think of it at four, and at five you decide to file a patent? Yep. Wow. OK, yeah. you're, you're something else. OK, yeah. we're going to head over here. I'm going to keep the glasses on just and okay. keep my ears warm. I'm going to keep my Hi, here, are you keep Barbara? My ear back. Yes. Hi, Barbara. You know how I figured that out? Because. Smart. <laughs> um, what did you invent? I invented the hamster helmet. A yes. hamster helmet? Please I... explain. <laughs> well, it's a helmet. That if you're riding your bike and you start to get hungry and you have no food, you can just take the, the food out of the cheeks. Wow, is everyone seeing this? Are you seeing that? Take something out and show them what's in there. There we go. Oh, look at that. Are you hungry? You can you're eat hungry it. right now? You can snack You can eat that. that right now. There you go. Because that's good for the demonstration. Yeah. You don't want to eat it, do you? It's just sitting on your tongue. That is really smart. That's you know? a really smart idea. How did you think of that? I thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have asked you the question first, huh? How did you get the idea? Did you see a hamster somewhere doing it while riding a bike? I, I saw an episode on TV about hamsters, uh -huh. and I saw they kept so much food in their cheeks. Yeah. Yeah. Their yeah. Cheeks, sure. they're, they're smart. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have a patent? Not yet. No, not yet. Don't worry not about yet. You've got time. You've got right. at least another year. It's a wonderful idea. All right. Good Bye, job. Barbara. Good job. Nice to meet you. So good. Hello. Hi. You Jet? Yeah. This is Jet. This is Jet. Dan. Dan, nice to meet you. All right. Thank you. How old are you? I'm ten. Ten years old. Okay. And uh, this seems like some kind yeah. of Game of Thrones. Uh, <laughs> this is Device. if people are coming towards your house and you need to launch things at them. No? No. no. Okay. Um, what 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 is it? It's a trash catapult. I'd get out of the way. Oh, yeah, I'm not in yeah. a good place. It, it's, it yeah. seems like it's going to go that way. Um, it's a trash catapult. Yeah. And you thought of this for what reason? Because, well, we were supposed to come up with an invention for a fourth grade science project. Mm. Right. And so I thought about um, taking out the trash, and that was boring. And so I thought of a catapult, and that was really really fun. Right. Yeah. Sure. Okay, so when you say taking out the trash, so you you still have to take it to the catapult. You still have to take it out unless the catapult is in the house and goes through a window. What is? No. no. See, think about that yeah. next time. Yeah. It goes right from the trash can and through a window yeah. out. Good, All right. Good idea. Yeah, thanks. So, want a little piece of that if you get some money. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So let's see what happens. It, it's uh, how to, this seems dangerous. Barbara, mm -hmm. I'd get out of. The, oh, you have a helmet on. You're fine. <laughs> So you walk over here and then you pull down on it this. 
Oh, okay, well, and then, so, pretty good. Yeah. Another one. And then so you, will there be someone manning the can to make sure that, because. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's a really good idea. And it, it's, uh, it really doesn't take up much room, so that's no. good. Yeah. You can fold it up, put it in a suitcase. Yeah, right? this that's is, right yeah. that's like, you know, that's something that slides right under the bed. Those are some cool inventions. And they were made by kids just like us. I wonder what Oprah students could create. What about the 2020-21 yearbook cover? How do we do that? Create a drawing on a regular paper. Make sure it's the tall way. Color it nicely and hand it in to Mrs. McKay by December 18th. What if I'm working at home? You can email it to Mrs. McKay. We'll have all the information on her Canvas page for the 5th and 6th graders. Awesome. I already have some ideas. There are more things coming up to OPA, coming up on OPA too. Let's hear about the Love Your Library contest and the 10 days of holiday stories. Take it away, Roxana. Hey everybody, it's time for your Love Your Library book contest. It's, this is a chance for you to create your own book. Everyone who submits a book for the contest will get a prize. Plus, first, second, and third place winners will, go, for their each grade level, will get another prize. That's a lot of prizes. Students can create any kind of book they want, like a picture book, graphic novel, poetry, nonfiction, biography, and more. Here are some examples from the past winners. These are some past entries. This one is a picture book. It has lots of pictures inside. This was a non-fiction book. They wrote all about, about what they knew about period and column. And this one, they went on the computer and typed up words. They also used their fingerprints for pictures. In this one, they folded it like a book and typed words, typed the words. Then they left some room so they could draw pictures. Hope this gives, hope this will give you some ideas. Ha, good luck. something fun to do with your family over winter break? How about 10 days of holiday tales? Starting December 14th through Christmas Eve, you and your family can hear stories read by OPA teachers and staff. Hear a new story each day for 10 days. Story links will be on Canvas as well as OPA website. Happy Holidays! Thanks, Roxana. I can't wait to hear the holiday stories and create my own story for the Love Your Library contest. Here's your sore pledge. This week we have Mrs. Higgins' class. I am old, but I will stand up and speak out for myself and my fellow eagles. I will own my actions. I will accept others. I will show respect and reach out to my school and community. I am Well, that's it for us. Have a great weekend, and remember, everybody loves, everybody learns, and everybody leads. And be nice. Bye! Bye.